Hello, in this video, I'm going to answer your question. Why is your Gigabyte G7 not turning on? If your Gigabyte G7 is not turning on, uh, there is a high chance that it's because um, it's discharged. But before we get into that, first make sure that you've pressed on the power button. You can see the power button being right here. You just need to press on it until the light on it lights up. If it doesn't light up, then try pressing and holding on it for a bit longer. Maybe it'll help. But if it still doesn't, then mm, <clears throat> you should see if your laptop is charged. So plug it in on the back and um, tr try turning it on. If it doesn't, then mm, see if it's even charging. You'll see on the front these diodes and if the battery diode is lit up by any mean or just any of those diodes is lit up once your laptop is plugged in then it's great your laptop is charging and uh, you should just let it sit like that for half an hour until it charges just a bit and uh, see if it works um, if you can turn it on or if your laptop was exposed to very cold or very hot temperatures then it may not want to turn on for even up to 12 hours depending on how hot or cold the temperatures were and how long ha um, has it been exposed to them. Also even if the diodes are lighting up there is a chance that your um, your charger isn't 150 watts and if it's not 150 watts then it may not supply enough power for your laptop to run off of it so you can try leaving it for like two hours to charge and see if then it'll work or just replace the charger with a 150 watt charger designed for gigabyte laptops because gigabyte laptops like every laptop Ha, um, almost every a laptop have um, proprietary chargers. Of course, the ones that have USB-C don't have proprietary char chargers, but the other ones that don't have um, USB-C just have the brand charger. And um, also, if if you've checked and your charger is 150 watts and fits your laptop and, and it's plugged in great and it's plugged into a working power outlet and it still doesn't work then and even the diodes are, aren't lighting up then it's probably your charger's fault and it's uh, I think most probably um, that uh, that charger is broken so if your charger is broken it may be because it's ingenuine and ingenuine chargers br break pretty quickly uh, or mm, it's just pretty old and it has broken itself just because of their age uh, and uh, speaking of ingenuine chargers your charger doesn't have to say gigabyte on it you know you can get a replacement charger from a reputable brand but make sure it's from a reputable brand because if it's something generic from a no-name brand then it may break very quickly as I said and also may explode so I wouldn't get something that's um, not reputable from not a reputable brand and uh, also um, as I said, even if it's a genuine charger, it still may break after some time. So maybe if you know someone that, someone that has a gigabyte laptop and um, they have the charger, you may borrow it from them if it's 150 watts or something around that. Um, it can be more, but can't be too, um, like too less. If it's 60 watts, then probably won't work. And uh, if nothing helped, then I would contact a technician. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.